It sits in a storage yard, draped in a cover, a piece of Arvada's history. It's wrapped up in kind of a cocoon-like tarping to protect it. It's been there for several years. It is the .04 trolley, and its recent designation to the most endangered places list by Colorado Preservation Inc. could help muster funding to restore it to its former glory. The trolley operated on the Denver tramway uh, um, trolley or streetcar system from about 1902 to 1950. It was part of a network of streetcars that connected Denver and a number of suburbs, including Arvada. Arvadan Wally Wirt, who is a railroad history expert and the most recent rescuer of the trolley, fills in the details. It was originally built by the Wober Car Company here in Denver as the number 11 for the Denver and Intermountain and used on the line out to Barnum. When Denver Tramway took over Denver and Intermountain, they changed the car from standard gauge wheels to the narrow gauge wheels. That's when the converted trolleys, not just the .04, got their decimal point numbers. In the best of my knowledge, no other streetcar system in the country ever used a decimal point in connection with their numbers. The streetcars carried travelers to Arvada, Leiden, and Golden. We have some great old photographs of, of families. They look like they're in their Sunday best loading on the trolley here in Arvada to go to downtown Denver. A movie found on YouTube brings the experience home. It's a brief film in color, very early color, and it gives you a sense of the rickety motion of the trolley. It goes briefly in Arvada and then all the way to Golden and then all the way back and ends in downtown Denver. Where the Wadsworth Bypass is now was originally where the line ran. There was a track that came out along Lakeside Amusement Park, came through where is now the Sam's Club, and it split. One line went out to Golden, the other line went north to Arvada. And then when it got to Arvada, there was a track that led up to the top of the hill at Vance. There was a waiting shelter, and then the line continued out along the Union Pacific tracks all the way to Leiden. Most of the coal that powered the Denver Tramway system was mined at Leiden, and occasionally they would attach the cars onto the streetcars and take them through Denver all the way down there. When service ended, the .04 was the last to run, making its final journey on July 3rd, 1950. Sadly, the last six decades haven't been kind to Trolley 04. 04 went through a kind of a checkered history. After the trolleys were abandoned, the company sold the bodies to anybody that wanted one for a couple hundred dollars, if that much. For a while, it was used as a cabin up in Rollinsville someplace, and then it ended up temporarily in the Forney Museum when the Forney was in the old REI building, which, interestingly enough, was the power plant for the whole Denver tramway system. But the trolley was destined to move one more time. It was there in 1996 when Jack moved to his new location. The 04 became available, and it didn't fit in Jack's overall plan. That's when Arvad and Wally Worth stepped in to purchase the 04. My wife and I bought it from Jack because we didn't want to see anything happen to it. It was too rare a piece, uh, too rare a piece of history, rare artifact. And then we were very active with the Denver Rail Heritage Society at that time. They bought it for about $3,000 and donated it to the Denver Rail Heritage Society. Now cocooned in the storage yard, the trolley is being offered to the city of Arvada with the hope it will be restored. It's in challenging condition. It's restorable, but it needs attention now or we could lose the resource, which is why it was nominated to the endangered places list. City Grants Administrator Kim Grant assembled a team of architects and specialists to do a detailed historical structures assessment through a state historical fund grant. The hard costs are projected at about $225,000, but we would need some additional money to create a proper partially covered shelter for it to um, control access and interpret it properly for the public. So it could be as much as $300,000 to complete the project. Being listed on Colorado's endangered places list could open up opportunities for grants funding to restore the trolley through the work of special artisans and tradespeople. It's a real specialized skill. There would be woodworking, there would be glaziers, there would be upholstery, and we have to fix the roof. 
which is canvas. There's just a lot of different specialized things. The vision would be to display the restored trolley near the Old Town Station, where the new Gold Line trains will come through in 2016. Those closest to the project recognize the irony of what goes around comes around. The new commuter rail line in 2016 is going to essentially follow the route of the old line once it got to Arvada. It's pretty much along the same line and it's the same purpose. It's there where the people are. The interesting thing is both the original streetcar system and the current commuter rail have a dramatic impact on the development patterns of neighborhoods and cities and the commercial enterprises that spring up and housing and you're seeing it happening again like it did around the turn of the century. So the 04 is a significant piece of our history, well worth saving so future generations can see and appreciate it. Now the hard work turns to finding grants for its restoration, which will allow the city to decide if it will accept ownership of the trolley.